Hello and welcome back to Fem Design Video Lessons. In this video, you will learn how to use Analysis tab in Fem Design 3D Structural Analysis software. We can start by checking that our user interface is once again full and no buttons are hidden here. If you see these buttons dimmed like this, it just means that you either haven't calculated, haven't done any calculation, or there is no results to be shown. For me also, I'm keeping quick tools here, which means that whenever I come to analysis tab, these results will show up in the quick tools. So let's start by checking the first tab here, which is calculate. In the calculations function, you can see that calculations have been grouped into three different groups. Here we have auxiliary calculations, static and stability analysis, and dynamic analysis. In this video lessons, we are going to go through all the auxiliary calculations and static and stability analysis. But for dynamic analysis types, just as Aiken frequencies, seismic analysis, footfall analysis, and so on. I highly recommend you will go to Struzot, go to webinar page. In that page, you will find a webinar either in English or by your home language about these analysis types, and they will be giving you more information about them. For now, we can see from here with these marks that I have already calculated the load cases and the load combinations. So I won't be performing them in this lesson. So I'm going to close these calculations for now and we are going to start going through these steps here. First, I'm going to take a view from one of the axes to get the be better view for our examples. So I'm going to select here axis number and number one. Um, first, I'm gonna hide the current result to start from the clean window like this. And now what we are gonna do, we're gonna start with a new result. Uh, normally, because I have quick tools open here, this won't do anything, but I close the quick tools and results and now clicking new result, it will take me to here where I can pick a result that I want to show in my view. For this example, I'm going to open transnational displacements and select the load case and select display. Now you can see that there is displacement view of my structure there. And what we have next is select result. We have keep current result or hide current result. For this, I'm going to hide current result, so I will get a clean window once again. I'm going to quickly click it back. Uh, what we have next is display options. This will change according to results that you are having on your window. For example, here for displacements, we only have scale factor and appearance uh, with result color and pen width for the bars. Like here, I can alternate the scale factor and I should see the displacement going bigger because the scale uh, for showing the displacement is bigger. But for example, if I would open reactions and now I will click uh, display options again, I have reactions function here. I have point, line, surface and resultant. And I also have scale for this. And you can also see the reactions in the view. I'm going to go back once again to transnational displacements. I'm going to scale it up a little bit. And what we have next, we have a few options here. Uh, it's called automatically displaying numeric values. Let's say I want to global maximum and minimum. 
and I want the software to find it from the view for me. I click here and I want the local maximum and minimum and I want the software to find it for me. So I click here. Actually, I think the global maximum was behind that window there. So yeah, so it means that is the global maximum there. And remember always when viewing these results, you will get a guide here of the result that you are viewing. Like, let's say we are currently, we are viewing transnational displacement and, and the results are shown in the millimeters, like in there. What we have next, we can actually put numeric values ourselves. So if I want to put numeric values, the beams over there, I can simply check them by selecting them with the numeric value tool. And we also have filter numeric values. So for the dis uh, for displacements, we can set, let's say minimum value of 15 millimeters and click OK. So we will lose all uh, values that are smaller than 15. And depending on the result that you are currently viewing or having in your window, you could have this detailed result button active here. And for the transnational displacements, I can click with this one of the columns and then I will get a new window showing me the, that specific column and the displacements of that column. And in this window, I can actually go through all of the columns that I have in my structure. And I can also say change the load case to load combinations. And here I have all the load combinations that are causing the displacements for these columns. And here I have the same options that I had in the last window if I want to change the viewing of my results. But for now, let's go back. And what we have le left is animate result. So for this, when we have displacements on the view, when I click this, we are going to see the way that this structure will start its displacement when loading is set to zero and when loading is set to 100. By clicking the screen, you can stop the animation. And what we have next, whenever we have results here, we can increase the scale quickly. Also here, as you can see that the displacement scale is growing up by clicking here, or we can decrease the scale by clicking here. We can also increase the font size or decrease the font size. We can also add more decimals to our results or decrease the decimals. We can also add result points to our structure wherever we want them. New result points that will be saved in the FEM design. We can also make labeled sections. And what we also have is equilibrium function. This is an easy way to check how well your structure work. Let's say uh, in here, you can compare the loads to reactions that your structure is taking. So whenever you have a structure that fails uh, just a little, you can go here and check the error percentage of that. And you can make some assumptions about how well your structure is working. And what we have left is configure deflection check. Uh, in deflection check configuration, you can select the load combination types that you are going to do the deflection check. Here we have quasi permanent, frequent, and characteristic load combinations all to be checked. And then we have bar deflection length and shell deflection region. For bar deflection length, Always remember, check 
that the defle deflection lengths for the bars are correct before making the check. In this example, I'm just gonna press the check. And here I can see from the window the bars that are deflecting more or they are over 100% of utilization. And I can see the bars that will go through the deflection check. This is all from this video. I thank you for watching and see you in the next video.